Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Security AAA Authentication Using a Taxis Server. Here we are on the hyper terminal connected to the test router. Let's take a look at the running configuration. We can see that the AAA new model is activated. And I set up a method list for the VIDI line. I also set up a line for the username password on the local database. I put in an entry to connect this router to the taxi server. And here I'm connecting the method list to the VIDI line. Now we're on the server ACS1. Here I have the installation folder for the Cisco Secure ACS. Here's the setup program. I'll double click it. Mm, I'll accept the license agreement. Okay, this is a checklist of things that should be already set up on the server before we install this. It's all ready to go. I also want to allow for Windows Active Directory to be used, so I'll make the second choice. Okay, I finished installing the main programs. I will choose to accept all the advanced options. Since this is on the test network, I'm not going to worry about any special monitoring. I'll type in my password here for the service installation. Okay, the setup is complete. Okay, this is a Cisco Secure ACS. We can see the menu selection on the left hand side. Okay. Now that we've installed the Cisco Secure ACS, let's create a user for it. I'll put Alice in first. Take a quick look at its properties. These are things that could be used to define Alice's account in the ACS. I'll type in her real name, Alice Alpha. I want this account to be associated with the internal database and not with the Windows database. I'll type in Alice password here. Here's the list of the default group. We can add her to a different group if necessary, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it at the default. These are other options that we can set, but I don't have any reason to make any changes yet. I'll simply click on the submit button to create her account. These are the lists of groups that members can be part of. We're able to rename the groups and make changes in this configuration. Let's take a look at his current properties. Now let's take a look at the network configuration. Here we can define the AAA clients and we can also define the AAA servers. Right now, our current server, Taxis1, is listed. 
secure the properties of that account. I can make changes in the server type. I'll choose taxes because that's the protocol that I plan to use. And then I'll click on the submit button. Notice that they have some information highlighted in red. And now let me take a look at the AAA client. I'll call the client that I plan to use the test router. And I'll t also type in this IP address. I need to let it know what the shared secret is, which is Philip Brown 1. I have a number of other choices, but I think I'll leave it just like it is. Now let's take a look at the system configuration. Remember all those red warnings that we saw asking us to restart? Here's where we can restart. In order to apply the changes, it takes a few moments for the services to stop and then restart. Now the red warning messages are gone. Okay. Now let's see if we can log in Alice with her username and password. We'll try to tell that into the router. Yes, we can log in with her account. Notice that the previous level is one. When we take a look at the subject of authorization, we will see how we can control what her privilege level is. In this video, we saw how we can authenticate a user using the Taxis Plus server. In the next video, we will look at another method of how we can authenticate using the Radius server. I hope this video has been informative and I thank you for viewing.